A true, selfless act always sparks another. Klaus was a highly anticipated animated feature released on Netflix, but its existence has been teased and hyped for nearly three years. An animated short appeared online featuring a mailman desperately trying to solicit letters from a run-down winter town, leading up to an amazing twist. Yeah, it's gonna take nothing short of a miracle. As if the premise wasn't intriguing and funny enough, what really impressed people was the uncanny shading on the characters and environment. The internet was abuzz with questions. Did they use computers to make this? Is this the future of 2D animation? Well, one person is sure hoping so. Sergio Pablos, founder of SPA Studio, is a classically trained illustration animationist with a history of working on Hercules and Treasure Planet and character designing for The Hunchback of Notre Dame and a goofy movie, hey! He's also the creator of Despicable Me and was a producer on Littlefoot? So yeah, I guess Klaus was some kind of penance. We can joke, but really this was a passion project of his. The main goal being to reinvigorate interest in 2D animation. You may remember Disney tried something similar with The Princess and the Frog. And even though some people loved it, it didn't really impress the mainstream audience as much as, well, all these awesome 3D animated movies that they were making. Ugh. This setback may have even caused DreamWorks to shelve another project that was supposed to feature a combination of 2D and 3D animation. And honestly, when you get down to it, the occasionally soft-shaded technique is really only a slightly better version of things you find in, like, Tarzan the Animated Series. But in all honesty, studios haven't really tried anything really different with 2D animation. Most of the time, they just try to combine it with 3D. With interesting results, but nothing like this. So how did they do it? Well, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. Especially if you're familiar with vector-based animation programs like Toon Boom or Blender. Or even just the mask tool in illustration programs. Although far more advanced and still quite secretive, SBA has released footage of a program that seems to be able to track and mask planes of color. The vectors can actually track and move based on keyframes, and of course they can be tweened and tweaked as you go along. You can even adjust the bloom of the vectors to create hard lights or soft shadows. Now people have been adding shadows to animation for a while, but Let's look at something like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Do you mean to tell me that you could have taken your hand out of that cuff at any time? No, not at any time. Only when it was funny. <laughs> this effect was essential to creating the world where toons and humans could interact. But it required the total efforts of multiple studios, lots of time and labor, and one of, if not the master of modern animation. And so the effects department would have to draw highlights and shadows, and each one of those levels would have to be then shot individually under the camera. This is far quicker, and the effect is still jaw-dropping. And honestly, I don't think this movie could have been, or rather should have been made without this technique. Color and shadows play a huge part in the narrative of the story. The whole first third is basically a horror story, with the new mailman arriving in a bleak and dingy town with menacing shadowy figures glaring through dilapidated structures. The schoolhouse that Alva converted into a fish market is tinted green, filled with decay. A metaphor for her dreams as a teacher in this town. Even in daytime, everything just looks bleak and desolate. Klaus himself is a hulking and menacing figure. It's only after the first toy is delivered, in a scene lit by a single candle, that color and warmth is introduced. And as the goodwill in the town spreads, so does the color. A recurring motif of darkness giving way to light, with each kind-hearted gesture. It's a simple story, maybe even a little derivative, but it's the production, the mesmerizing artwork on the screen that really sells it. Although I should reiterate that there is no such thing as a make 
art button. What you're seeing here is the collaboration of decades of ingenuity and the honed skills of industry veterans. Nevertheless, this technology is a welcome breakthrough, and I hope it does re-spark studios' interest in 2D animation. This movie got a limited theater release to get it qualified for the Academy Awards, which it is currently nominated for Best Animated Picture. On one hand, the last animated movie to win was also visually unique, and was a hybrid of 2D and 3D techniques. So maybe we're looking at a developing trend. On the other hand, judges may look down on Netflix, may also be enticed to give the award to a recognizable franchise. I saw Klaus on a box of Ritz, so they've got cracker money. <laughs>